gentlemen, I'm using a particular software. It's called Hugging Face, well, Hugging Chat, not Hugging Face, but Hugging Chat. Huggingface.co. Hugging Face, H U G G I N G, Face, F A C E dot C O. Much better than ChatGPT without all of the restrictions and the interferences and uh, so forth and so ons and uh, ons and ons and ons. Okay. Now, there are some, I have to get to learn this one because this is not ChatGPT. Okay. Wake up. You left out the concluding paragraphs. And I ask that you not leave out any of the case citations or any of the contextual points being raised. Comma, I need you to do it again. Question mark. Stop listening. Now, the reason why, oh, and when you hit enter on this one, uh -uh, it gives you the opportunity of creating new paragraphs and spaces. You have to hit this every single time. The other thing is you go to tools, you get to add other features, other tools to work along with this. You get to choose from different models. Let's click on it. See the different models. I am using the Neo, you know, Nemo, Finding Nemo. That's not it right there. Where Nemo at? Uh-oh, I, I skipped it. Where's Nemo? Nemo, Tron, Nemo. Got to find Nemo, okay? Nemo is the one to find. All right, ladies and gentlemen, want y'all to understand. I got to get back to the other chat, and I don't know how to get back there. Oh, Lord. Uh, I don't know. All right, we'll get back. We'll get back there this way. See, see, this is just so big and it just, I, I don't know. Okay, we're back here. Whew, I got to hit retry. Uh, let's see. Yep, I got to hit retry. One more again. So, ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to HuggingFace.co's Hugging Chat. Okay. I, it's it really is simple to understand you don't really need a walkthrough oh the case that it's helping me with we got to respond to this case in texas they've been playing games and i'm part of the case and you got these attorneys now many of you guys are dealing with attorneys and they never provide proof of the power of attorney well would you believe that they have no choice Yes, they have no choice. They have to provide proof that they represent their client, either through a letter of retention, it's called a retention letter, or through a power of attorney. They don't have a choice in the matter. Now, mind you, I want you to pay attention. They think they do. They'll ignore you. But places like the state of Texas, well, let's look at this law right here. The court emphasized that a motion to show authority allows a party to challenge whether the opposing party is properly represented it represented it represented let's do c o n t uh oh sorry i i'm so used to hitting enter Ooh well anyway back to the hotel ladies and gentlemen just so that y'all understand now it's giving me the federal cases because we have state cases that says that attorney must be properly representing his client and now we have state cases. The court held that an attorney must have proper author authority to represent a client. And the opposing party may challenge this authority. Ta-da! So that's what I'm doing right off the bat. I ain't got time. Attorney claims they represent somebody. I already know their policy. Many times the attorney doesn't even represent the bank. They come in saying, oh, we'll take over. And if we win, you know, you guys owe us. We'll split part of the proceeds with you. If we lose, we'll assume all responsibility. And they don't sign an agreement because if they sign an agreement, the bank is liable for any mistake that the attorney makes. That's why there's no agreement. Ta-da! So what you have to do is you have to challenge that power of attorney. See, it, 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 this time it asked me if I want to continue, and I said, show enough, Shogun, and there you go. But, oh, this one is a lot more detailed. This one gives you a lot more information, not like ChatGPT and the other ones that just gives you a little short paragraph when you're asking for something extensive. This one goes into detail. You can stop it from going into detail, which is a good thing. See how it's still writing? Now, I gave it the petition. I gave it the petition to continue from. 
I just told it to rewrite it because, you know, I, 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 I can kind of like hit them aside the head when I write because that's how I write. See, Eon Foundation, the E-E-O-N Foundation. Uh, but that being said, I just needed it to reword what I wrote. Ta-da! So, by bringing in Pagliolero, Tinsley versus Pagliolero, by bringing that case in, let me explain why that case is so important. See, the Supreme Court held that an attorney cannot be a witness and an attorney at the same time, so that they cannot testify if they are representing a client. If they're testifying, that means they're a witness. If they're representing a client, that means they're an attorney, which means they pay attention because of that ruling the Supreme Court held that an attorney must have proof that he's representing the client. Now, how, how did they determine that? Because, pay attention, an attorney can never, ever step in court without a power of attorney. Pay attention. An attorney can never step into any court without a power of attorney. They're either a witness or they're an attorney, and if they're an attorney, there must be a power of attorney. There is no right to be an attorney in the United States. No one has the right to be an attorney. You must receive the power and authority from the person having that power to delegate that power to you. Without someone giving you the authority, and the courts cannot give someone the authority to have power of attorney, only an individual or corporation can give someone the authority to represent it. That's why the courts ask you, do you, would you, is it okay if I appoint an attorney for you? They have to ask for your permission. The power of attorney is your power, not theirs. No one can take that power from you. No one can assume that power. Well, what if you're incompetent? What if you are a minor? Well, what if you are, and that's the point, you have to be without the ability of making the decision to do so yourself but if you're competent nobody can take away your power of attorney no one has that authority okay it really is just that simple yeah 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 i know i know i know you, you ain't even heard it like that before because it's always been that way that what you guys, most of you guys are not understanding. Most of you are coming into understanding a little bit about law way into the game. You didn't come in at the beginning of the game. See, the problem is you have to understand the roots. Nappy roots, the roots, you know, the television series, mini series. You have to understand the roots. Once you understand the roots, then you got it going on. So, sorry. I'm going because I'm learning the software. I have to go through what I'm going through right now. Let it do what it do, you know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we wanted to tell you about this new AI. Well, it's not new. Okay, it's not new, but it's an AI. Okay, it's an AI. That is the end of it because I, you know, basically the attorney is going to say this and they're going to say that. So not to get into a tit for tat soliloquy it is absolutely necessary that we challenge the standing of the parties and their representatives my right it's going to be our right to speak on oh well my right to speak on behalf of my client who engaged my services which is not the subject matter of this arena in other words we're not worried about what type of services i supply and provide that's none of your business mother that has nothing to do with you that's not a matter before this court, and you don't get to make it a matter because it was not brought before this court. The issue is, is she gave me power of attorney. It doesn't matter what she gave me power of attorney to do, but she gave me power of attorney specifically to speak on her behalf to this company. Don't worry about anything else. That's none of your business. That's what that's saying. That's the tit for tat thing. That's where they want to change the subject matter. The subject matter is the power of attorney and its recognition as a constitutionally secured right. That's the subject matter of this petition. Mr. Speaker, that's how I was concluding most of my petitions <laughs> uh, when I was doing this before. I would conclude it by saying, Mr. Speaker, and I wouldn't say anything else, no other writing, no other typing or nothing. Um, well, if you guys ever seen a speech being done in, in Congress, they usually end it by saying, Mr. Speaker, 
and they walk away. Well, that's how I would normally end a petition like this. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to say thank you for being here and thank you for allowing me to point out these points to you, recognizing that the written authorization for an attorney is mandatory in every case. And it's, it's letting me know that there's an error. And I know that there's an error. And that's because the AI system is causing the error. And I'm okay with that. I, I needed the rewriting of certain things anyway, but it's already... Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see if I can show you. It's already written. Done and said. So you can stay three steps ahead. The L, the L, the L, the L, the O, the O. Okay. So because it's already written... I, I don't really need that. I've already wrote it. Okay. So this is a Texas matter. So here I come. Ready or not. You can't hide. Gonna find you and make it. Okay. Have a good day, everybody.